In this lesson, we will talk about best practices for installing the IQ8 commercial QD cabling system. After this training, you should be able to understand what components are required, prep microinverters and QD cable for installation, and we will review proper QD cable installation. Once we pull our IQAP 3P microinverter out of the box, we can then install the EN4 to MC4 adapters that come with each microinverter. Each adapter is labeled so you know which end needs to be plugged into the microinverter and which end will need to be plugged into your PV module. Next, we will go over to our QD cable box and figure out how much QD cable we need for each circuit. Once we open up the QD cable box and start pulling out cable, we need to identify how much QD cable we need and where to properly cut the QD cable. Each connector on the QD cable is labeled with consecutive numbers so you can easily pull out the correct amount of QD cable for each circuit. An important thing to remember is that when you cut the QD cable, always start the next series of modules by plugging into the next drop after the cut end. Notice that in this diagram, the first row had the stop on drop number nine, so the next sequence of microinverters should start with drop number 10. This helps keep phases balanced. Once we've identified how much QD cable we need in each circuit, we can grab our wire cutters to cut the QD cable in the proper location. For this example, we have cut three circuits that each have 12 connectors. Now that we have our QD cable cut with the correct number of connectors, we can install the other required components. First, we can grab our center tap adapter and plug it into the center tap connector on the QD cable. Next, we have our QD terminators. QD terminators will be installed on each end of the QD cable. Now that we have our QD cable properly prepped with our center tap adapter plugged in and our QD terminators installed, all we need to do is label each section of QD cable so we know where it needs to be installed. Let's take our prepped microinverters and QD cable to where they need to be installed. First step is to install the microinverters and document the location by pulling off the serial number sticker and placing it on a sticker map. Next, we'll take our pre-prepped QD cable and plug each connector into the microinverter and manage the QD cable properly. We will repeat these steps for each circuit. Now that we have our circuits complete, we need to create our home runs to take that power from the QD cable back to our combiner panel. To do this, we will need a male field wireable connector installed on some raw QD cable. A male field wireable connector and a female field wireable connector are comprised of the same four components and get installed the exact same way. Starting on the left side, you have the cable gland, followed by the seal, then the housing, and lastly, the contact carriers. Slide the cable gland and seal onto the QD cable. Strip off approximately 1 and 11 16 inch of the outer sheathing. Then strip off approximately 1 half inch of insulation from each conductor. Grab the housing and slide the housing onto the QD cable. The contact carriers have two different sides and they're both labeled very clearly so you know where to land line 1, line 2, line 3, and your neutral. You will not need to use the ground pin for this installation. Slide the contact carrier onto all four conductors and ensure that the conductors are in the appropriate locations. Tighten each terminal to 8.8 .8 inch pounds and always be sure to do a tug test to ensure proper connection. Next, slide the housing up onto the contact carrier until you hear it click. Then slide up the seal. And lastly, slide up the cable gland and tighten the cable gland on the housing to 39.8 inch pounds. 
Once we have our male field wearable installed on the raw QD cable, we can plug them into our center tap adapters. We will follow those steps for each circuit that we have. Now we can run those home runs back to either a combiner panel or junction box. Now what happens if you're ready to install the home runs, but somebody forgot to install the center tap adapters on the QD cable? How do you know which center tap connector to use? Well, it's very simple. You're going to take the center tap adapter and plug it into the center tap connector on the QD cable that has the most microinverters on each side. For this first example, you can see the center tap connector on the left is the best choice because it has four microinverters on the left and eight on the right. The next example, you could use either center tap connector because each center tap connector has the same amount of microinverters on either side. The same rules still apply to circuits that have less than 12 microinverters. Let's say you have circuits all over the roof and you don't want to run raw QD cable all the way back to your combiner panel because of the distance. All you need to do is take male field wireable connectors and install them on some raw QD cable. Then plug them into each center tap adapter and run all of those home runs over to a junction box. From there, you can transition over into whatever wire type and conduit that you need. Now, what happens if you have a section of microinverters that need to be plugged into another section to complete a circuit, but there's rooftop equipment and other obstructions in the way? For this example, we have a small section of four microinverters that need to be plugged into the other eight microinverters to complete the circuit of 12. This is very easy to complete. First, we'll install the QD cable for each section and ensure that the QD terminators are installed at each end of the QD cable. Next, we will install field wireable connectors at the other ends of the QD cable. Now we can grab some raw QD cable and some field wireable connectors to make a jumper. Plug that jumper into the field wireable connectors that you installed on the QD cable. From there, all we have to do is plug a center tap adapter into the center tap connector and grab a male field wireable connector and install on some raw QD cable. We'll plug that into the center tap connector and take that home run over to your junction box or combiner panel.